we interrupt your regularly scheduled deep dive into the human body with something that is often sweet but dangerous. In fact, part of the reason it can be so dangerous is because it's sweet. It was once a common additive in many products for homes, fishing, and toys. This week's topic is lead poisoning. Every day, millions of Americans can still encounter lead-contaminated items. Lead can cause serious health effects in all individuals, yet babies, young children, and pregnant and nursing individuals are especially vulnerable to the effects of lead poisoning. Lead poisoning is entirely preventable, but first you need to understand what lead is and how you can get lead poisoning. What is lead? Lead is a naturally occurring metal found in the Earth's crust. Historically, lead has been mined and added to products for its seemingly desirable properties such as adding weight, durability, malleability, color vibrancy, and increased efficiency in engines. Because of lead's previous and current usage, lead can be found in all parts of our environment, the air, soil, water, and inside your homes. For example, some public water may be contaminated with lead due to lead service lines or until it was banned in 1978, lead could be found in residential paint. Time is not on our side, though. Lead does not biodegrade or disappear from the environment. Over 40 years later, we can still be at risk when that old lead paint deteriorates. What are the effects of lead? Because there's no safe amount of lead, exposure to lead will subsequently cause lead poisoning. When we consume or inhale lead, it then gets into the bloodstream, circulates, and causes various health issues. The impact of lead poisoning can be devastating. In children, lead can cause developmental delays, learning difficulties, behavioral problems, hyperactivity, and even physical health problems like anemia and hearing difficulties. Adults exposed to lead can suffer from nerve disorders, increased blood pressure, decreased kidney function, reproductive problems, and memory and concentration issues. These effects can be permanent, but the good news is that lead poisoning is preventable. How? Well, follow these steps. First, test. If your job or hobbies may expose you to lead, discuss getting tested with your doctor. All children should at least be tested at ages one and two. The only way to know if a child has lead in their blood is to have a blood test completed. Because lead exposure often occurs with no obvious symptoms, it frequently goes unrecognized. Secondly, clean. In dwellings with confirmed or suspected lead paint, one needs to routinely wet mop solid surfaces to minimize lead dust. Vacuuming or dusting in homes with lead can actually worsen the situation by spreading the lead dust. Regularly clean children's toys. Children play and learn by placing things into their mouths. So if toys have been exposed to lead dust or soil, the toy can be a direct route for exposure. Everyone should wash their hands after playing outside, playing with animals, or participating in activities where they may have come into contact with lead. Individuals should also clean or remove work clothes and shoes before entering their homes to avoid tracking in lead from soil, work sites, or hobbies. Third, run the water. In homes with suspected lead pipes, run the water before drinking it. Flush your home's pipes by running the tap before taking a shower, doing laundry, or doing a load of dishes. Only use cold water for drinking, cooking, and making baby formula. And consider using a filter certified to remove lead. Fourth, check your diet. You can reduce lead absorption by eating foods rich in iron, calcium, and vitamin C. Funnily enough, meats rich in iron include bear meat, bison meat, and beluga whale. Fifth, hire certified lead professionals. For houses built prior to 1978, hire a certified lead safe professional for renovations, repair work, or painting. These professionals have special training and are certified to perform this type of work safely. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and share this with other parents, caregivers, and loved ones who need to know about the issue. Have a specific question? Well, you can call the National Lead Information Center at 1-800-424-5323. Or you can stay tuned for TRPHD's Lead Poisoning Series to learn more.